Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fudmon14 here. Uh, I was actually just about to do a behind the scenes video, but <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's the, or maybe you can't see, there's the red bucket. 14 seconds. Uh, a <laughs> little bit of a special intro for you guys tonight. Uh, yeah, anyway, today is Tuesday, April. Oh, what? An update? Wait, what? For Dawn of Destiny? Get out of here. What? Wiggle wiggle, what? Wow. Huh. I wonder if they've added, like, uh, Chivos to this game. Achievements? Oh, dude, that'd be dope. I probably just got, uh, I probably got the maximum amount of achievements alone for, uh, <laughs> All the work we did battling Mako Tsunami. Am I right, guys? <laughs> and girls. Oh, well, yeah, anyway, today was just going to be a little behind-the-scenes uh, video, but I guess we will... Yeah. Oh, interesting. I wonder what this update's really about. I'm going to grab my water, by the way. I'm drinking water, so... We're going to watch the intro today. This is the Dark Magician. I draw the Dark Magician. That is the definition of a destiny draw in a UV mode deck. Dark Magician! Dark Magician! I love Umi Rika. That dolphin coming out of the sea. Oh, it's so good. But Umi itself, a legendary ocean, is just so much better. But um, what I've decided to do, and this will be bonus commentary against Mako. But what I've decided to do is if we cannot, uh, if we cannot, I'm going to get two copies of Umirika, that one with the dolphin there, and I figured out you can get them from Mako on the tier. So what we're going to do, hopefully in this video, <laughs> yeah right, but that's what I've decided to do in the long run, um, and I'm going to commentate everything from I'm going to commentate everything from the time I start to attempt this to the time I finish so I've decided in my head what I want and I want and we'll just put Weevil first just because but I want three copies of Umi Rika I mean since I can't seem to get for whatever reason my um we have a Rock, paper, scissors tie here. Yeah, for whatever reason, since I can't seem to get my copies of a legendary ocean, since I know, you know, I still haven't been able to confirm, you know, independently on my other save files, if you can get, uh, I'm sure you can. I'm sure that list is right for the most part, and that you can get, um, uh, because Miko's the only one who would play that field, so. I'm sure you can get a legendary ocean, but for us, it's not... Uh, how, do, how do I say this politely? Ain't working. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord help us. But, uh, seriously. Uh, we'll set Kogeki no Mugekiha face down. It's so weird how I say that name. I activate my car. Kogeki no Mugekiha. Now, against Weevil, by the way, here's a pro tip. Pro tip. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's funny because I was just about to talk about this card, man in your bug. Pro tip, attack with your strongest monster first. Like normally you guys will see, and I never talked about why I do that. But normally I'll attack with my weakest monster first. Why? Well because when the opponent plays cards face down, like odds are that you can probably have your weakest monster kill it. You know, 1400, eh, that's decent. If you got something that's 13, 14, eh, go ahead and attack with it. Why? Well, because take, for example, my giant red sea snake here. Great attack, right? 18, but look at that defense, 800. And so if your opponent's on the ropes, so to speak, and is, uh, oh, that wasn't trap ball, I'm surprised. If they're, I guess this is negate attack? Ah. Uh, Weevil, I know you like the back of a bug book. Uh, I could have made a better joke there, but anyway. Switch, uh, 
Mystic Tomato Shimishoji. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, for example, Giant Red Sea Snake. The defense is... Yeah, you can beat it with even a thousand, so... I don't know. Ooh, Marie the Fallen. That'll be good with Magic Food Taicho, so... I guess for now... I'll tribute... No, you know what? I'll tribute in Main Phase 2, regardless. So let's switch this to attack. And, uh... Usually the AI will manually flip Man Eater Bug. So I think this is maybe just a regular monster. Yeah, I was right. Okay, see, like, there. Comic Carry Man. Uh, one of the rare exceptions. It actually has 1400 defense, so... And basic insect. Yeah. Normally, that's what you run into. It's like, stuff like that. Or they'll play, like... Uh, <laughs> Hinotama Soul. <laughs> I think, uh, I forget who played that on me, but yeah, someone summoned Hino Hinotama Soul against me. And I was just like, uh, what? But okay, the plan here is to get Marie in the graveyard faster. I'm gonna tribute it now, and I'll tribute it next turn as well for Legendary Fisherman. So, Duke, Duke, Duke. Ooh, that could be Trap Hole, though. Ooh, did he? What? 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 Weevil's tribute a monster? Hmm. Interesting. Omoshire. Uh, I'm gonna actually activate Axe of Fear, or Axe of Blood. Axe of Bloody Souls. I'll activate that on Marie. Okay, so is this Millennium Shield? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, good loot. <laughs> you fell for my trap flame. <laughs> Bugs are awesome. Now, should I use this effect? Ooh. Now, I thought about it. I thought about doing it, because I do have negate attack face down. But, no, can't afford Oh, Hercules, okay. Okay, that's, honestly, that's, I thought it was maybe Millennium Shield, because it seems like everybody and their mother plays Millennium Shield, but, okay, I'm glad I was wrong. So, I'm guessing he might also have Empress Mantis? Ooh, actually, was that card even out at the time of this? Uh, no, I'll just let the attack go through. But was that card even out at the time of this game's inception? I don't think so. Huh. Leave a comment below, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's always an easy out. Uh, question, what set did Empress Mantis, bug type, 2200... Attack, I think? 1500 defense? Uh, yeah, what set did it first come out in? And if so, if you have the correct answer, what game did it come out in? And I just now realized you guys haven't been able to see the full screen the whole time, so I just adjusted it. It's fine, it's fine, it happens. Uh, Floodmon 14, where unprofessional, uh, where unprofessional dueling is at its finest. And all right, go. Legendary Fisherman. Harpoon Torpedo. I don't know why I keep stealing that attack from Digimon. Hey, Digimon was cool too. Am I, am I allowed to say that? I think I'm allowed to say that. I'm an lp -er, darn it. And Digimon was cool. No, it is cool too. It is cool. Is Digimon still ongoing? I want to say yes. Akumon, Digivolve 2, Black War Greymon! And some of you just, like, got a, such a nostalgia boner right now. Uh, once again, he didn't flip, so I know that's not main either, but I'll attack this one. Ooh, I activate the call of the haunted fly. Ooh. Nah, I'm not gonna change. I will, however... Uh, redirect my attack to Hercules Beetle, because that has 2,000 defense, so... Adios. Awesome. You know, something I just thought about. Weevil's deck. Bug types don't really have a 2-tribute monster at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh! So... Like, what's his... What's the ace of his deck? It's probably Pugum, right? Right? I mean... Perfectly ultimate great moth. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no no, this is the ace of his deck, that's right. Jirai Gumo, yeah, that's the ace of his deck. Definitely. 
he doesn't need to play. Uh, and y'all yeah, definitely play. You activated my trap card, Weevil. Kogi, Obogekia. This card ends your attack and ends the battle phase, you fool. Now I draw my blue eyes, white dragon. Oh, I wish that would have been such an epic draw. But Black Pendant here is just as good. Now, Legendary Fisherman. Sometimes you can get confused on the effect, but check it out. When Umi's face up, this is unaffected by spell cards. So, therefore, Black Pendant should, and I phrase should, take him to 2350? Was that? I was alright? I was alright, right? Right, right? Tell me I was right. I was right. right. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, but there's more. There's more, evil boy. I see blue. I see white. I see the blue eyes white dragon. It was so funny. I was actually quoting. Oh, and I almost could have won with Rush. Would have been a hundred short. Mm. Only I had taken the blue pill. Mm. Ah, sometimes I wish I had taken that blue pill. I probably should have done the 700 anyway. Because that way, whenever Black Pendant goes to the grave, he auto-loses. I should have thought of that. I really, 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 really should have thought of that. Should have thought of that. I'm actually going to set in main phase two. So I will attack the first monster he set with Legendary Fisherman. Widespread... Ah! I'm sensing a trend here, Weevil. This seems to be your second favorite trap card, besides Trap Bolt, that is. Nice. Activate my magic card, Black Pendant. Ha! My card is as black as your heart, Weevil. Now attack, White Magical Hat. Go, Spinning Top Hat of Doom. Or maybe he just shoots that monocle, right? He just shoots like a laser beam effect with it. How cool would that be? How cool would that be? That would be pretty cool. Alright, but anyway, main phase two, gonna set my Magician of Faith. Don't lose faith, you can, you can do it. I'll probably take back Black Pendant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a no-brainer because if Black Pendant sits in the grave, he'll lose 500 more. So, yep. Oh, so that tells me everything face down. Because I have White Magical Hat in attack mode. But that tells me everything that's face down, it has less than a thousand. <laughs> like, that's, like, you guys kind of see what I was talking about earlier. See, that's why in this game, yeah, I'll take back Black Pin and whatever. But that's why in this game, I, uh, what does it keep asking me to chain? Oh, Rush, that's right. That's why in this game, I, yeah, I'll attack with the weakest monster first. <laughs> Just because, like, even with a thousand, you can, you know... <laughs> You can usually, you can sometimes crack through, even though, like, you wouldn't think so. Especially compared to modern Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Yeah, we're gonna use Cyber Pot, destroy all monsters on the field. Yeah, now Nino Worm and Koto Gashi. That's interesting. <laughs> and we drew Chain Energy, so. A pretty good draw for us, but Black Pendant should set off after Weevil sets his uh, five monsters. Spike Snail. Yeah, as you see, uh, Cyberpot's actually a bad idea against Weevil, because he stacks his deck with a lot of very summonable level 4s. So, as a part of the chain, sure, you know what, let's just clown around. I'm going to chain Cyclone to Black Pendant, okay, and I'm going to chain Cyclone on Magic Jammer, but then I'm going to play Magic Jammer on Cyclone, so I'm going to negate my own cards here, and we'll discard Hugo Polymerization. There we go. Magic Blue Tight Joe. I just wanted to say that, okay? Is that okay? Can I say it? What time are we at? Four. And I said it all the way to the 14 second mark. Whew. Ooh, that took a lot of. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna need some water for that. Oh, gosh. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. This video is brought to you by Agua. Agua. Do you know the spell for Agua? Agua Mente. Levite las manos. It's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa. She annoys me sometimes. It's really annoying. <laughs> well, she gotta get her priority straight. Uh, <laughs> Random Chamber of Secrets quotes. 
Uh, <coughs> I don't know why you can squish my beautiful words. <coughs> I challenge you to a uh, rematch. <coughs> I am Weevil Holio. <coughs> That's cool. Fire, fire, man. I challenge you to a rematch against my pyro deck. Fire, fire, man. Set fire to all your trading cards. <coughs> that was awesome. All right, next we have up uh, Rex. Uh, 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 uh. The only way you can stop my dino deck is like, uh, uh, if a m m m m meteor strikes the earth and creates another uh, uh, ice age. Uh, 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 uh. What? I summon my two headed uh, uh, King Rex, bro. Uh, what? What's happening? Totally? Totally, man. Uh, uh. Check it out. My dinosaur's horny. Uh, sorry guys, my abridged Rex voice is abysmal. Uh, 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 I summon, uh, 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 my horny dinosaur. Uh, 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 what? That is what he summoned too, isn't it? Of course, of course. Got his key card on the first turn. Not surprised. Luckily, I have a better supreme card. It's hard to believe two-headed King Rex was, like, considered a ultra-rare like card in the show because basically like the first episode they're like oh and there it is it's Rex Raptor's best monster and like it only has 1600 attack like what I mean don't get me wrong I guess it is kind of powerful for a four star monster actually I would say it's in the beginning stages of Yu-Gi-Oh could become quite a beast honestly it, it has that um, wow, that monster looked pretty freaking weird. What monster was that? Mechaleon? Oh, Mechal Le Leon. <laughs> but yeah, that monster looked pretty freaking weird, right? I think I might have said it first, right the first time. Uh, Me Mechaleon? Is that what I said? I don't know. But it's supposed to be a chameleon. We'll just call it Mecha Chameleon. Because that's its like... <laughs> anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, King Rex. Yeah, it, it is kind of powerful. Like, if you just look at, at just the first set of Yu-Gi-Oh, which was Legend of the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, compared to those cards, yeah, you know, uh, it's pretty powerful, not gonna lie. Um, we'll attack with Cyber Soldier first, in case that had, like, 2,000 defense. Are there any dinos level 4 with 2,000 defense? I'm sure there's at least one in the early stages of Yu-Gi-Oh. If there is, hey, comment question number two. Leave a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Fun Mom 14 videos, videos, videos. My dinos have gone the way of the dodo. What? What's happening? This was a fluke. Let's do it again, like totally. Wow, my abridged like uh, butthead is so bad. I'm so sorry that you guys have to listen to it. Actually, uh, you guys don't have to listen to it. This is a bonus video. <coughs> now for my Mako. <coughs> I've been working on this. Let me guys know how you like the voiceovers. <coughs> Hi, Flood. The ocean is as dangerous as it is beautiful. Just like my ex-wife. My ex-wife is the ocean. I was once married to her. Prepare to feel her fury! And the fury of my legendary fisherman, who looks much like my father. Let's do a flood, and I will play my ocean card, because I was married to it. Digga that beat, uh! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I do this like every new recording session. I'm like, digga that beat, uh! Because it's, it's just so catchy. Listen to that. Look at that name. Look at that name. Let me turn up the volume. Dance, dance. Crack up the volume. Yeah. Let's crank it up to 40. Uh. Actually, let's crank it up to 41. That is 40. Backwards. So. Yeah. Dig it that beat. Uh. Yeah. Come on, Mako. Give it up, bro. I activate this trap called Solemn Wishes. What in the deep sea? 
I like how he has an epic reaction to something that's like so ordinary. <laughs> Go, Death Spiral. Death Dark Spiral. I love that attack name. Alrighty. And let's actually play a legendary ocean. There we go. That way, I'm gonna find out if this face down is tornado wall or torrential. Digging that beat. Oh! Done. And it is torrential. Yay! I activate my truck car, Flood. Oh, that's right, the glitch. Ooh, I didn't even think about that, homie. Nice play. Good stuff. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. I'll take that draw. Because I actually can't summon right now. Nice. Nice job, Michael. Alright. Your turn, bro. So, I'm guaranteed to take 850. But no, what I should do... I should just take both of these this turn. So, what I'll do is next turn, I'll wait till he summons, and then I'll play Torrentro on that. That sounds good. So, obviously bad move by me even playing Legendary Ocean, just because it helps him out so much. But, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is actually play Umi face down, because that way, Legendary Fisherman will lose his protection, and uh, I should be able to torrent the whole field. So, summon. Summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it. Oh, fire cracking, that's a good one. I activate my trap card, Mako. Kozumuki, tribute. Yeah, bro. How about that? How about that? That was fun. <laughs> that's always fun. But no time. Hello. Antha Shokun. Stick Mako. Now I play the magic card, Giant Killer Tomatoes. This allows my tomato to be giant. And I forgot that my life points are lower than yours. So Megamorph is actually going to shrink my messy tomato. That's funny. <laughs> I just wanted to do something epic, okay? Okay, I forgot. It happens. Mistakes happen. Why'd you believe it? Oh, wouldn't matter. He had some kind of fish anyway. We're just trying to make this duel as epic as possible. That's what's going on here. I didn't make a mistake. We're just trying to make this duel as epic as possible. And I will summon Sangan. Go in attack mode. Always good to see you, Sangan. This card helps me out so much. So much. Nice. Alrighty. I set Kogeki no Mogekia face down. And now, I tribute my Sangen to set one card face down. I activate Sangen's special ability. Critter Searcher! Well, I guess that update didn't do anything, because, yeah. And he didn't attack. Nice. I gained points from Solemn Wishes. Now, at this point, I think it's worth it to, um, just attack and see what happens with Marie. So I should kill this, yes, flying people. Okay. There we go. And now, I'm going to suicide kill. That's what I'm going to do. Love that friend, my Alright, and now I activate the magic card, Return of the Doom. I bet you didn't see this coming, did you, Mako? For now I discard my Cyber Jar to add Giant Red Sea Snake to my hand during the end of the turn. So I end my turn, and back comes my Sea Snake to my hand. That's not good. That is not good at all. Thankfully he has ooh 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 yes. Thankfully he has not played uh, Tornado Wall yet, so that's good. Now 
Now, believe it or not, I'm actually going to keep United with Stim in my hand because I'm so afraid of uh, right Jiki at this point. Yeah, right Geki. Although, I could have probably ended the duel there. See, I thought with the Legendary Ocean, he kind of psyched me out. And I thought he said something like, 3,000 year old white turtle. You know, which is 5 stars. In defense mode, it's 2,500 with Legendary. So, yeah, he definitely psyched me out. But I'll admit, he did a good job psyching me out. So... So now I'll play United We Stand. And I'll play that. What? A spell card? I've never seen that flood. What in the deep Kraken Sea? Alright, so I'll just attack with Marie. Ah, Miss Arizume. Missile faced fish. Alright. And we're getting to how many minutes? 26? Perfect. Because this video is probably about to end as far as time. Ah! Oh no! The sea, my wife! I felt her blood. Ha ha ha! I can't believe my sea deck floundered and flooded out. I didn't catch you in my net. Are these water ponds doing anything for you? What a pond! I demand a rematch, blood, with my wife. The ocean and I are married. I am not a freaky fish guy. <laughs> uh, we'll just pick the raw stack. So. What do we got? Boom, 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 boom. Ooh! We got one card I've been looking for, so let me just end the commentary here. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you want to stay tuned for more. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, really quick, I am going to highlight two good cards that we want there. Uh, this is really good. It's Aqua Monster, and it has uh, 1600. We'll read the text. This fairy protects the fountain from any who seek to muddy its waters. Pretty solid. 1600. Not the best you can get, but pretty solid as an aqua monster. And I love how calm the deck music is, but this is the card I really want three of. Beast King of the Swamp Sand. It's a water aqua effect monster with 1000 attack and 1100 defense. The text reads, you can substitute this for any one fusion material monster. You cannot substitute any other monsters in the fusion. So basically, we're going to add this to not just this deck, but we're going to add this to every deck I've got. Because every deck I've got has a fusion deck now. So there we go. That's pretty awesome. And basically, with this in the deck, we can now take out... A, de a card that's actually clogging up the deck a bit, and that card is Bottom Dweller. Because, you see, I like Beast King more because it's searchable by Sangin, and also searchable by Sangin is Tongue Yo. So for the fusion of Deep Sea Shark, for example, we'll just go with Tongue Yo and Bottom Dweller. Now for the fusion for Flame Swordsman, I'm going to throw in Masaki, because it has the better stats. So I'll throw in Masaki, and if I have Masaki, I can send in out a uh, Beast King, and hopefully we'll have three at some point. And then you go, Polymerization. So for now, let's just put Bottom Dweller to the side, and uh, yeah, I'll just take a random card out of the side deck. I think that card will be Gemini Elf, for no reason. Send it to the trunk. And yeah, I'll do all that sorting out later. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for joining me. And uh, yeah, uh, let's check out the library as well. Because I want to look at Beast King, since we got that new today. And I like how the blank cards are just blue eyes. This is blue eyes, B E W D S. that's funny. But yeah, let's check out some of the new cards we got today. Where are they? <laughs> Going to this card is always tricky because you don't always know where the cards are on the card album. But, uh, okay, so so here we go. Uh, this is the section for like aquas and stuff like that. There's an aqua. So. Uh, let's see. Let's check out. Let's check out. What shall we check out? Let's check out. What shall we check out? Oh, the 
diary of the fountain. That's new. Ah, let's give her a look. What does she look like? I'm just curious. Huh. Interesting design. Hmm. I do like the hair. Just gotta say, it's hard to believe someone put all this detail into this game. It really is. It's hard to believe, but, uh, yeah. Hair's pretty cool. Pretty good design overall. And it really matches her card art, so I like it. Alright, next. Uh, what are we looking for? Beast King of the Swamps, an effect monster. It actually makes it easier for me, because I can see brown a lot better than I can see gold. Uh, if that makes any sense to anybody. If you're watching and that makes sense to you, thank you so much. <laughs> like, you're awesome. You have no idea how awesome you are. And you're beautiful. <laughs> okay. You have a beautiful soul. Soul of the Duelist. Um, sorry, just looking at brown cards here randomly. Cannon Soldier, Uguchi, brown card. Um, there she is. Or it, I guess you would say. This is Beast King of the Swamp. Whoa. Back up there, buddy. Look like you're about to bite me. Okay. <laughs> I do like the biting kind of animation. The, the lunging animation. Check that out. We'll just slowly rotate it. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Uh, I like, like that. George working that back. I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just gonna let this like in the video, and I'll go to a full 32 minutes, I guess. <laughs> See you guys next time. I just freestyled that, man. Yeah. See you guys next time. <laughs> Look out below.